The Redact Whisperer is at it again. That's right, Brendan Job. well, he fails at life. And another thing he fails at? A truck giveaway. Something that he's been promoting for quite some time. And when there's a winner, there's no winners. There's just losers. And he tries to explain it away. It's called the Truck Giveaway Damage Control. And this is what he did on the latest episode of The Fighter and the Kid with Brian Callen. It's the white boy who works too much. Let's go ahead and take a listen. In. I want to know. Yeah, I, you should have been there for the uh, for the giveaway. So, oh yeah. In, yes. in my mind, so you know, I've never done one before. I see all the big dogs doing it. I just figure it ends August thirty first. You announce the next day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember. No, there's a because you have to hire it's a third party law firm that makes sure there's no funny business, no shenanigans. I have nothing to do with. They verify the winners. If there's any connection to you, they're, they're just Dude, if, so nobody in here can win. The, the dads and the baseball team couldn't win. Wow. If someone went to high school with me, middle school, what? elementary, nothing. Damn. So you have to have no connection to me. So they go through, it, it took ten, they say 10 business days. They mean business days. So, I, you know, people, where's the truck? Wait, where's, the, where's the winner? I'm like, good God, man. So I have Lex hitting them up like, hey, where's the winner? They're like, we're on it. We got to go through. We got to. Guess where the winner's out of? Montrose, Colorado, which is like, we live in LA. That'd be like being from Bakersfield, middle okay. of nowhere. It's okay. the middle. It's it's between Grand Junction and like Telluride. It's so far mountains. away from me. Mountains. Some yeah. dude. Pastures. He does mountains. some truck. He owns like a, a truck shop. Like he does some restoration stuff. But here's the thing. So I'm like, all right, sweet. Winner's in Colorado. Nope. Awesome. You know, home roots, whatever. The, the guy looks like he does stuff. Cool. Here's the problem. If I would have called him, he'd be like, oh, my God. Yeah, that's what you want, right? Yes. Oh, my God. I'm on the truck. The lawyers call him and give it away because the lawyer have to call him. Hey, you've been selected to win. Oh, blah, blah, blah. So on. the lawyers, give a, they, they give away the surprise. Then Lex has to call him. Hey, are you available for a call? By the time he talks to me, it's four or five people down the chain. I call him. What's up? Uh, what's up, dude? His name's Will. What's up, dude? Uh, it's Brendan Schaub. Hey, what's going on, man? Not much. What are you doing? Nah, just sitting around at work. Cool, man. You won the truck. Oh, hell yeah. Cool, man. I'm like, right. So, uh, um, he's already known. He won the truck. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, man. I'm, I'm going to take a king's hammer. I off road. I'm like, oh, that's all, so awesome. It's got to go ahead one. He's like, yeah, so cool, man. So just let me know. Come on, pick it up. I'm like, yeah, come here, man. We got like, you know, confetti and stuff, and we'll figure it out. He's like, cool. Just let me know. I'm like, all right. Hung up. I'm like, I thought that'd go different. I was now maybe when he's in person, sees the yeah. truck in person, that's when we'll get the big surprise. Yeah. But as far I don't know how other I don't know how other way to do it. By the time he talked to me, he was like, "Sup? You know, cool. You know, I thank you. I I I. It's still, not shout out to Will. Yeah. Thanks for playing. Glad you won the truck. You're going to use it. It's not his fault. But th but five people it just got to confirm this. Confirm. This. Travel, logistic, all. So by the time he gets to me, he's already like, "Hello, God." I, I, I still feel bad. My my ex, and then I was like, "Oh no, it's amazing!" And I could see she late. was. Oh no, no, she no, no. Was so fakeness. bummed. Yeah, it's a bummer. And I still feel bad about that. Now, I, I wasn't bummed. Uh, granted, you know, five months of work, you know, but it's um, it's not his fault. Are the, you gonna the, do these giveaways? Oh yeah, we already got the next one. I'm, I, I drove the. Is that what I've seen? One. Is yeah. that I've already seen? That's. That's what you're Sick. giving away? Yeah, yeah. I can't get involved? No, sir. You got a connection to me. I No I can't, funny business, sir. I can't throw my, my my name in the old hat? Buy some merch. Find out. What? Can't hurt. I got to buy, buy some merch? I got to buy merch? Buy some merch. No gas, all gas, or whatever <laughs> you call it. <laughs> oh, man. All brakes, no gas, whatever you oh, say. Oh, man. No. Trucks. No. Man. Right. Yeah, it's not that guy's fault. It's just the the process. It it's takes the process. you know it takes the fun out of it. All the paperwork, all that bullshit. And then you got to vet the whole thing, make sure that you can go to, to like my own. Yeah, because otherwise, you know, there's gonna be funny business. People <sighs> give it to their buddies, you know, and then just keep it. I assume. I don't know. That has to happen. I would assume. Can't you? Because you, you know another reason you have to use a, a third party too, a law firm. You have to. They're mm. like, there's no. The state of California won't let you do it because gambling, essentially. Mm. So one of the issues is, is and I didn't know this, but a lot of the giveaways, old old people's homes, old folks' homes, they have nothing to do. So they scour the the internet looking for giveaways and they sign up. So they we at 
How many mail-in ballots did we get? Oh. Thousands. It's Thousands. Really? Like a, the, like a the, crazy the amount The average of age mail-ins. is like 98. Oh, no. Like Mary in Florida, no, no, we who's 98, you're going to break your neck. You jump in this truck, lady. Yeah. But they just sit there and do it. Because there's nothing They sit there do. and do it. So they vet through everything. Not saying they can't win if you're 98, but mm. they have to vet through all that. Damn. See where it's at. All right, so it was, a, it was um, yeah. First, first learning experience. First one. Now we know. All right, it's yep. gonna be two weeks after you announce the winner. Yeah, the next one's a SEMA build, so it's gonna be at well announced it at SEMA. It's gonna be a big deal. Be now I, I all breaks, no gas. Whatever you oh, say. Man. So let me get this straight. Brendan thought they'd announce the winner the day after the contest ended. Papa, why wouldn't it take five to seven business days just like every other giveaway in history, my dude? Shab takes full accountability and it's the team's fault. Doesn't it kind of sound like Brendan didn't know these rules when the contest started and hired a law firm after the fact? Because the more Brendan speaks or talks, the more he incriminates himself. Coffee's where are you? Job does everything like this. From the sweet nectar, remember that piss whiskey, to ripping off merch designs and logos from different brands. It's really like a 15-year-old running a business as a school project. Hell, I've seen better run lemonade stands. It's almost as if he didn't have a plan. What a surprise. And who's the law firm he hired? Because I don't think it's legal to do a giveaway without disclosing the giveaway administrator, which, by the way, I couldn't find listed anywhere in them rules dem them rules or dem the rules or whatever i don't know either way it's redacted i guess it's his third party law firm which is still unnamed isn't it always get a law firm i swear bapa's deliberately saying lol it's law not lol and he's saying fern not firm so essentially brendan Traub is saying lol fern and oh boy this scam giveaway is exhausting what was he expecting i own a truck modding company you just want a modded truck. Okay, thanks, I guess. But come on, guys, let's go easy on Brendan. Because the dude had to make two promo videos for the truck every week. Y'all don't have that work ethic, B. Guess what? You just want a modded truck. That smells like the worst case of bad breath and their spent nicotine pouches stuck between the seats. Congratulations. Oh, spent nicotine pouches and a central console full of tonsil stones. Gotta love that freshly modded out truck smell. Yep, it's true. Brendan Schaub is the most insufferable person. I'm not engaging in hyperbole when I say he has the most grating, least enduring personality I've ever witnessed. Come on, name one positive character trait without being disingenuous. I really don't think you can. I get it. I simply do not matter, but I swear as time goes by, Papa's becoming less of a low cow and more of a miserable narcissistic gunt. And that's exactly Exactly why watching his life fall apart is so rewarding. I wish it sped up a bit, but I can't wait to watch it get worse. I hope for the worst of the worst. In his case, nothing is too bad. Also, to make a point, considering they swipe the rules straight from another website, originally leaving it in that company's name, good job there, I doubt there was ever a lawyer involved. I know, brilliant. And I swear to God, if Brandon says third party one more time, it's gonna drive me nuts. Now, here's a crazy thought. If the stupid video of you calling the winner was so boring because he already talked to five people, maybe just don't upload the video. It's because he didn't realize how fucking stupid it was until he read the comments on the internet. And so the other scam is he gets to drive different cool modded vehicles every six months, uses them as a business expense, tax write-off, and almost certainly writes these vehicles off as charitable giveaways ways at tax time. Everything Brendan Schaub does has an ulterior motive of financial gain or clout. Arguably the least genuine person I've ever seen. Oh, and by the way, it's the team's fault. The surprise was ruined. Also, shout out to the retirement home that has an average age of 98. Uh, I'm not saying they can't win if they're 98. Well, it sure sounded like you were saying that, Papa. You know, it almost sounds like Brendan started a business 
this venture before he did literally any research into it. God, I find that hard to believe, honestly. I mean, like I mentioned before, the rules for the giveaway were copy and pasted from another website's terms and conditions. Let's not forget that these bozos forgot to change the hyperlinks for the email addresses and web pages that led to the rules that were copied. Yes, it's such a shit show that it almost has to be investigated. And look, this is going to sound absolutely insane, but why didn't Brendan pick the winner seven days before announcing the winner? Don't announce that a winner has been picked. Also, you could tell the dude that you're doing an announcement and to pretend to be over the moon, and I'm sure he'd oblige. That's just me, though. I don't have the best brains for the business. Anyhow, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. But hey, do me a quick favor. Hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. I really appreciate that. More content to come. Push that notification bell so you know when the next new video comes out. I'll see you guys next time.